and welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica and today this is a painting I made my sister for Christmas and I just wanted to give you guys a couple of tips on how you can create a pet portrait as well. So let's get into it. So first off you need a picture of your pet. This is my sister's husky and you want the picture to be about the size of your canvas. My canvas is about 8 by 10 so she blew this picture up and this is a little cheat that could really help you guys. So it's just on a piece of computer paper, you flip it over and you scribble your pencil across the whole back of the picture. And you wanna to try to use a soft pencil as possible because you do want a lot of lead. And what you're basically going to do is transfer the picture onto your canvas. So I just cut out the unnecessary parts I don't want in the picture and then I place it in the center of my canvas. You want to make sure that you cover the entire picture of where you do need to trace to make sure that all lines transfer over. So then I just take that same pencil and I just start to go over where the lines are and indicate certain areas of where I'm going to need different color paint. So I'm starting with her ears, the shadow of her ears. I go around each of the white parts of her face so I know that that's a different area of color. And you can see here that you have a little blueprint of how you're gonna do your painting. So the supplies I'm using today are just Liquitex Basics acrylic paint. You can use any acrylic paint you want. I got a couple of different size brushes, a palette knife to mix some colors, and then a disposable palette which is actually just a sheet of wax paper. So I already have my colors mixed up over to the side. Her favorite color is purple and she specifically requested a colored portrait. So you can do this with regular colors. You want to block in the areas with some color. And this paint is slightly watered down so it's a very thin layer and this is this helps to block in some colors of paint so that way you're not afraid to start you know, painting on the canvas. And you don't want to just start off making this amazing painting. That's not how it works. You have to build it up in layers. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this is the very first layer. You can see right through it. It's watered down. And so then I started on the background. And I know one of her other favorite colors is like a bluish turquoise. I thought that would make a nice background. I just wanted to do it solid color. I wasn't going for anything detailed. And you want to just, another tip is to make sure all the paint is very smooth. You don't want to leave any bumpy streaks because when acrylic dries, it dries like a plastic and you won't be able to get out any kind of lines that you don't like. So try to keep it as smooth as possible. Moving on, I start to do another layer of the color of the white over the yellow. And again, it's still a very thin layer. I'm not caking on this paint at all. And I had already painted her tongue, which I skipped over, and I kept that a, a solid red. And then I go over the purple with a thin layer of black. And you can kind of see the portrait start coming to life. So I hope you guys try this out and that you're not too intimidated. This is a great gift for someone or even to make for yourself or to hang up where you live. So now I'm just going over the background again and this time this is probably going to be my final layer on the background. I do lay this paint in a little thicker and I did purposely put in some blue streaks because the way I pictured my portrait I was going to have streaks of color in the dog so I wanted to mimic that on the background so that way it wasn't so so flat and boring I guess and acrylic paint dries pretty quickly so by the time you're you end one side of the painting where you started is already dry. Now I'm just going in to 
the dog's ears where the shadow is and I start to use that purple color because like I said this is going to be a colored portrait so she wanted some pops of color so I'm using the purple as shadow and then I start to streak in some of the purple as the fur over the black and fur is something I know I still need to improve on it doesn't look perfect but I think in the end it turned out good. For her eyes, I actually did not do the typical eye the way the picture is. I basically used the color purple just to color the crescent shapes of where the color of her eyes shows. And then I added the highlights in, if, if that makes any sense. And then I do another layer with the black and I mix it in with some purple so that way the purple's not so bright and stands out. Here I start to do the ears by adding more white and I try to streak it over the shadow so it looks like her fur. And the same things with the white areas over her eyes. And then I take the white paint and I just do some streaks directly on top of the black because her fur is not totally black. She does have some white streaks in there. Here I go in with some yellow and just do another layer of the whitish yellow. Then I just continue adding details of white in her fur, little patch of black fur underneath her nose. Then I start to add some details to the tongue by creating the shadow. It makes the portrait look more three-dimensional. So then I just finish off the painting with writing her name on her name tag and her name is Juno. So here is the final piece and right now it is wrapped up underneath the tree ready to give to my sister for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found these tips helpful for you to create your own pet portrait and maybe give as a gift. So be sure to click that like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a happy holiday and I will see you in the next video. Bye!